into our jungle tea bread. Uh, we've got a different. We've, we've still got tea. It's still tea bread. Don't worry, that's is. not going to change. That's, that's a certain. But uh, instead of um, chocolate and buttermilk, today we've got scones, courtesy of Philip Scorfield. Scones from Scorf. Thanks very much, Philip Scorf. Thanks for them. So this is where we just kick back, relax, talk about the show. And what a show it was today. Very dramatic. Mish, can you uh, call in an ambulance from the local? Freddie Star has been taken to hospital. He suffered an allergic reaction. Uh, and we're all, we all wish him the very best. Because what performance in the trial as well? He was magnificent. A machine. You are the best celeb we've ever had. I think doing that in the trial. No poo has come out of him. Not, not a wretch in him. Not a he. Nah. Um, he, he definitely has been the most fearless in the Yeah, trial. very good. Very good indeed. <coughs> Didn't do as well. Not as well. I mean, you've got to feel sorry for him coming up against Freddie Starr because, you know, he allegedly ate a hamster. Yeah. So nothing's going to happen. He'd eat anything. <laughs> so Mark was always on a bit of a high note to nothing. And he, well, did, he, made, he, he, he did eat quite he a bit. He made hard work of it. Well, he? also, he tried to cheat by hiding, hiding the bugs under the toast and, and, uh, in his and, cheek. and the pork, the pork anus, the pig's anus in his cheek. It's a bit inside dark. I'm seeing you, man. We've spotted that. Yeah. We've been doing this job too long you now. Can't get a you can't get past us, Mark. <laughs> Not a great start for him, but he's got another chance in the next push to the trial, which I'm sure he's really pleased about. <laughs> well done, you. Uh, thanks for all your questions via Facebook and Twitter. Do you like my jungle pod? Look, <laughs> it's a jungle pod. Jungle pod. Uh, I'll read you a couple of questions, Declan. Yes. To answer them. Okay. Sharon Davenport said. I like Sharon. If you had to eat just one thing during a trial, what would it be? Oh. Choose one thing that you would eat. Well, I have tried the green ants before, and I'd eat the green ants. We've done that before, where you have to eat a handful of green ants. I'd do that, because they're just a little bit like Starburst or something. I think I'd have the cheese fruit. Oh, you wouldn't. Well, it's just fruit. You animal. It's just, I know, but it's cheesy sick fruit. That's what it is. Yeah. Like vomit fruit. Vomit, yeah. But it's not alive. That's the thing. You know, it's... it's it's a vegetable. I might try a witch people. Would you try a witch people? If I had to. There is no way you'd try one of them. I know you well enough by now. Okay, I try to, I try to pull you all out. <laughs> no <Okay>. chance. <laughs> uh, David Gibble Gibbons. Gibble? The old Gibble. He says, you think Jack and Vera might have their sofa stolen? Are you referring to our... Armchairs. Jungle armchairs. Jungle sofas. Armchairs. They, they are the best chairs money can buy in this part of Australia. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm not kidding you. <laughs> I think they're quite nice. They're very comfy. Well, so we've got two new rivals going into the jungle as well. That's quite exciting. We've isn't got it? Sunita and Pat Shaw. Uh, kind of a bit, bit of an 80s arrival, right? Isn't it? Yeah, it is. Sunita big in the 80s. Arrival and revival. Funhouse was just a whole lot of fun. Prizes Price. to be won. It was a real crazy show. It's always good when new arrivals come in. Sunita, we know. Um, she's, what? We know Sunita. We, yeah, we do. We don't hang around with her or anything. We know no, Sunita. We know she doesn't bring in our local pub, but she's there. Uh, we know we've met her. We know Sunita. She'll be great. Um, Pat Shaw. I'm really looking forward to them going in. But don't you find when they go in, because they're going in on our day off, right? They're going to go in. I'm sure they'll do something nasty to them before they go in. I mean, they wouldn't just let them wander in, would they? because I'm a celebrity, uh, when they go in and there's more mouths to feed and everybody gets a bit tension with the new arrivals, yeah, it, it, it always happens. happens. It, it unbalances the camp a little bit when new people go in, which is a good thing. That's all we've got time for on today's tea break. We're off to do Creepy Crip yeah. with Mark and, and Stephanie. Stephanie, what's your prediction on Mark. Mark. He lost the last one. He, doesn't, he won't want to lose this one. I think he's going to be pumped up and ready to go. He will be, yeah. I think you might be right. I think we, we're, we're predicting a Mark victory here. Um, let's see where that's. Uh, that's it for now. We'll see you on the next one. Ta-ra.